my name is Elsa. welcome to my channel and in this video we're going to be talking about how to get your first or next software engineering internship and if you haven't done so already make sure to like and subscribe down below so you can get more videos like this in the future let's do it so everyone knows that when you're a computer science major internships are a really big deal. They show how much you've learned in your class and how you're able to apply those skills and to be able to contribute meaningful things to a larger project. First tip would be find out if your school does any research or internships or things like that that can happen with the professor. Ask your computer science professors, do they have research positions available? Most likely, if you go to a publicly funded or even a private school, I went to a private school, they should have research positions available for that summer. So talk to them about the research that they're doing, why you're interested in it, how you can get more information about it, what you what can you do to be on their team for the next summer. That could be a really good experience and be a stepping stone for you getting an internship outside your school. I started with the research position before I got into internships. I was lucky enough to be selected as a research intern on one of my professor's machine learning projects. And in this project, I was put on a team of four to five other interns and we worked on a machine learning project that was being built throughout the years. So we were just adding new features to this project. And basically what the project does is that you have all these physiological sensors that take data from a human. So let's say I had sensors on me, it would take my heart rate, it would take my blood pressure, it would take my sweat um, and numbers like that and be able to use these numbers to decide whether or not I'm gonna be doing something good or something bad. Obviously, I really condensed it into this really simple thing, but it's a very complicated program and takes many years, which is why we were building upon and adding new features to it. Second tip, make sure that if you have a career center, go. So a lot of times people or alumni will come and advertise the jobs that they have openings for through the career center for your school. So really make sure to take advantage of those resources because they're directly related to their school. It's more, it's more likely going to be hopefully an easier process. I don't want to say that it's going to be a completely easy process just because it's going through the school because that's not necessarily true. At least you'd have some leg up in the competition. And my third tip is to go to job fairs. If your school has job fairs, make sure to go. I think my school had maybe two or three job fairs a year for tech and also sent a bunch of us to, I think, Florida to go to the Grace Hopper's event conference where a bunch of recruiters and alumni from my school and a bunch of other schools go and they'll advertise for jobs and they'll have booths every single day for I think it was a whole week or a weekend or something like that and they'll just be recruiters out there trying to recruit people that week doing interviews that week and getting resumes that week so go to these fairs because recruiters are there waiting for you to come by and to talk to them talk about your interests talk about what you want to do with your career if it's your first time trying to get an internship talk about what you've learned so far in your classes and what you've been able to apply so far in the projects that you've done for class and how you think you'd be able to apply that in the future internship that you end up doing with their company. Or if your school has a coding club or a programming club or a software engineer club or a computer science club, whatever it may be, going to them, seeing if they would be interested in having a group of people going to a tech conference or my fourth point, going to a hackathon. So I've never been to a hackathon, but I know friends who have personally been to hackathons and that has helped them get internships because they were able to showcase their skills when they were doing these projects in a very time condensed manner and then having something really cool to show for it is awesome. You're able to put it on your resume. Oftentimes these hackathons are sponsored by really big companies like Google or Microsoft or Airbnb, places like that. And so they're able to be on site to see who has what it takes to get an internship with their company. And if they think that you're good enough, you could end up scoring an, an interview with one of those really big companies. And my fifth tip is to make sure to Google. <laughs> Do some Googling, go on websites, go on Reddit. 
honestly, all these websites were places when I was looking for my internship after I did research at my school, these are all things that I was looking at. And I can leave a link of all the websites that I used down below when I was looking for internships. I still have them tagged as tabs in my Google Chrome folders. But I went to a crap ton of websites to try to find a really good internship that I was interested in. And even places like LinkedIn, also LinkedIn, as a reminder, make sure that your LinkedIn profile looks amazing. So in case recruiters come to contact you, they are able to see a snapshot of what you do and what you can do. Your LinkedIn should be an extension of your resume. So anything that you couldn't fit on your resume, make sure it's on your LinkedIn. And a lot of the times recruiters in their headlines will have looking for candidates for internships. So you should feel free to hit them up, talk to them, send in a LinkedIn message. LinkedIn can be such a powerful resource for you. This is a place where you can look at hiring managers, you can look at recruiters, you can look at engineering managers, you can look at other software developers and see what they're doing. If you have alumni that went to your school and ended up being software developers, you can ask them what they did through LinkedIn. And also just go on LinkedIn just to search for jobs and internships. That's how I apply to a majority of my internships. I just went on LinkedIn, typed in software engineering internship, and bam, I got maybe 20,000 results of the different computer science or software engineering internships for that summer. And then I did the same thing through Glassdoor. I don't know if you guys have heard of Glassdoor, but Glassdoor is a website where people are able to go and rate their companies and people are also able to look for internships and jobs on Glassdoor. So I made an account and then I went through looking for internships again through Glassdoor and they both Glassdoor and LinkedIn have this aggregate of data and internships that people just put up every day on a constant weekly basis. These two websites were really, really crucial in me being able to apply and ultimately be able to get a software engineering internship. So when you're looking for an internship, just make sure to use all your resources to your advantage. Make sure to go to your career center, make sure to talk to your professors and ask them if they have research positions available. Make sure to Google, make sure to go on LinkedIn and Glassdoor and look up software engineering internships. It's just an easy search that you can do to get thousands of results, thousands, literally thousands of internships that you can apply to. And there are a bunch of sites, like I said, that I can link down below of not only places where you can search for internships, but places where you're able to do interview prep. And yeah, I hope this video was helpful. I hope it ga I gave you enough tips and tricks to be able to land that first internship. Please, if you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. I'll answer every single one of them. I swear I will. Let me know if there are any other videos that you'd like to see. Make sure, please, to like and subscribe if you like this video and if you'd like to see more of them in the future. And yeah, thanks for watching.